Hey guys, what is up? Diamond Studios here, back with another video, my second video with my new phone. And um, today I'm going to be showing you the uh, mini spider crawler poly bag, which is based on the $80 Spider Man set um, that comes with Vulture and um, Sandman. But um, yeah, let's take a look at the minifigure. So here's the minifigure of the set, and this is kind of lazy, honestly. Like, um, like it, it's a good minifigure to get since I didn't have um any since like this since I never get Marvel sets. Um, so I, that means I this is my first Spider Man, but still, this is really lame. Like, this is the 2012 pieces. Why not give us like like I would either a just throw in the new Spider Man as a whole. Or B, um, like, make this poly bag based on the MCU or something. Throw on the black and red suit from Far From Home. But, no, it's this crap. Uh, well, it, it, it's a good minifigure overall. It's just too boring. Like, it's, um, but, uh, yeah, he does have back head printing. Probably the most interesting thing about him. Um... But, um, the weird thing is that he seems to have, like, this Buzz Mercy problem where, like, his torso is a bit darker than his actual head. Yeah. That really needs to stop, honestly. Um, the actual, I think that might be the black lines just making it look darker, but I don't know. Um, but, yeah, this, this is not really the most impressive thing in the world. And here is the build, the spider crawler, which... Although Spider-Man doesn't use vehicles, I actually really like this. Like, with Spider-Man on it, it doesn't look too interesting, but when you take him off, and um, take these off, um, it actually just looks like some remote control spider, which it actually looks kind of cool. Um, I don't really like these, um, like, um, levers, though, to control the thing, because it makes it look like a snail with legs. I mean, if I just put this on, like... When I look at this, without the minifigure, it looks like a snail with legs. Um, that, that just seems a little silly to me, but... Like, overall, um... Like, it's got... Like, I like the build for the abdomen. Um, the, the legs you have to build eight times. Um, luckily it's not, like... Luckily it's just small pieces and not many parts are required. You, apart from the legs, you can move the abdomen up or down. If you move it up, it looks a lot more like a snail. Um, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, and in the end you can put Spidey on, and um, <laughs> yeah, um, so yeah, but apart from, but that's pretty much it for this review, um, hope you guys enjoyed, honestly, um, I actually do think this is a good poly bag, I just wish that, like, this would have, A, been, um, like, from the new, updated Spider-Man, or just um, an MCU poly bag instead of, although it wouldn't make sense because why would Black and Red Spider Man have this Spider Walker? Well, I I kind of feel like that like if they wanted to make a good poly bag, then they would just have like um, new Spider Man with this, and then just have like some little scene with um, Black and Red Spider Man or something, or just have him fighting a drone or something since um, that's pretty much like the main en enemy. Um, from the movie like drones but um <clears throat> yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you later goodbye